Hey everyone, happy Saturday. So we are back for another video in our series of Cabinet of Curiosities. And um, I have kind of a different camera setup. You notice I'm up a little higher. Hopefully this layout is pretty good. Um, but, you know, let me know. I think we're looking pretty good here. So we're on to the next series of pages. And I'm telling you, I had so many ideas running through one time. I was having a hard time deciding what I wanted to do. So I just decided to turn the video on and get started because I could be sitting here for another half an hour, 40 minutes, just playing and making decisions. But I have a few things that have kind of inspired me. So we're working on these pages right now. And I'm thinking that first of all, I want to, um, oh, let me show you the printables. So March printables, what I decided to do this month because I was working through a lot of my pages and sort of thinking about like how my journal is laid out and I know a lot of you see my pages and maybe you haven't you don't have as many stained pages or you're not sure how to do it um and you'd like to kind of explore sort of similar kind of vibes plus myself when I get across I come across strange pages like maybe like one like this it's okay but I might want some more neutrals there to build up from well, the screen is not that bad but I wouldn't go with the whole thing so I put some printables together that kind of will be able to give you guys and myself because I'll be using these blank pages oh, not blank but pages that i'll show you so this is the first one which is normally just like the cover but i like to just kind of you know put some extra things in there that may not like these things are in the kit but i just thought the red and everything went nicely with it so you can also use these pages the first one so they're 14 in the in the series but you see like just like this big bold sort of pattern so if you fold this page down you know, you kind of have this interesting space to build up on or what we're going to do. What I'm going to do a lot is rip these and then and glue them onto my pages to work up from. This is some Asian writing that's not in any of my packs because I use this on an actual piece of artwork. And then I took sections of it um, and made these printables with it. So this is some good stuff. But, you know, a little scripting, just kind of neutral areas, I thought, so that it's really nothing really specific, so it doesn't get in the way of using them as a base, but it just kind of gives you a base to build up from and then, you know, continue to work like on this side, like see how the scripting looks when it gets really big, just gives you interesting sort of movement. So we have this one. This one, so I really focused on just giving space that sort of mimicked like how I'll come onto a page and it'll sort of look like this, you know. So you can kind of have something and start building up from it. So you literally could rip it and maybe if you have blank pages, you could just glue it right on your page and then start building up your cabinet of curiosities from there. This is got some neat movement. These are all papers that I've made. So they're all from my personal collection everything so you're free to use them in your journals this this is a nice it's like you know this is a jelly print um of my stencil with the gold ink and then it just really has that neat look to it but it's large enough that it really won't get in the way of sort of working with it and then some of these are you know sort of just kind of give the old paper look with a little scripting so these are fun to be able to kind of like, you know, flush up and build, build up on. So you can see we can do a lot around these. And here's some more. This is yummy mark making. And then I did strips of them. I like doing that because then it's sort of ready for you to be able just to kind of work it onto the pages. Um, here's another one. And then I did them in sixes. So these are good pocket sizes. And it also changes um, 
See the size changes, let's, let's find one. Like, see this one is like this size, but when I make them smaller, you get a similar mark, but smaller. So it's nice, you know, it changes the look of them and it also changes the use. So, you know, this could be a, a pocket that then you could just keep on building stuff up on, which is nice, or they can be used in any kind of way. But I like to do these smaller sections because what it does is it changes the size of all the prints. So you have different size variations. And to me, that works well when we're doing this kind of art journaling. Um, it allows you to continue to use some of the patterns, but they won't be um, as large as the, you know, as the original, as the full sheet. So there are 14 of them. And um, we're going to, I'm going to actually, I think I want to start with this one myself. Was it this one? Yeah, I'm going to use this one today. And this will just blend in with all kind of papers. If you have just old book pages that you may stain and do mark making, a lot of the other mark making papers that we have. And of course, the other printables from last month, they'll blend in with these. I'm trying to keep everything so they'll work together and they'll be like our unique approach to our cabinet of curiosities. But I know a lot of times people reach out to me and say, oh, I don't have as many papers or things that are interesting and you know, where can I find them? So I thought putting these packs together are a good way to share out a lot of the things that I find and even some of my mark making and stuff um, in a way that you can use it and integrate it into your own work. So the link for these, these are the March printables and they'll be below the video. Um, and yeah, you just go download them and get started. So I, I think I'm gonna use this here. So let's just go ahead and, let me go ahead and rip this. I might be a little sneezy, you all, because for some reason my allergies are really bothering me. I can feel one coming on there. Let me find my, my paper for, oh, here we are. Just need some waste paper here for gluing. I really like these though. So, and I do this a lot all the time with my own work where I'll, you know, photocopy things that I like and then reuse them, especially in my journals, because it gives an opportunity to play with different ideas and different images without having to use the original. And since our art journal is about, you know, play and discovery, um, it's a really good place to reuse a lot of your, your images. Just here. Trying to get my sides straightened out. So I know that I want to use this and I'm going to keep some of this because I really like this, my staining down here, of course, but I'm not too crazy about the green up there. So I know I'm going to get rid of some of that. So I feel like what I'm going to do is maybe I'll turn it this way. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's do that. Let's first let me get a little better tear here. So let's do this. Okay, so this will go here. And then we'll rip some of this off because I really like, you know, um, this bottom area. So that sort of gets rid of. So like if you're using jelly prints and other papers and parts of it you don't like, see how we can just quickly put something down and it gets rid of it, but it still blends with, with our papers. Make sure everything's still recording there. Okay, good. Okay. Now, I also, so that's going to go down there. And, um, oh, I have come across this. This is from a, a um, old botanical I got years ago in one of the flea markets in Paris. And I actually photocopied it. It's not the original, but the original is about this size, just maybe a little bit bigger. And I photocopied it on cardstock and then put some old lime paper on the back and then I um, 
coffee stained it. So I might put this down and kind of create this flip here. So I think I'm gonna do that and kind of use this to kind of pull that together. And then I had a couple of ideas. I had, this is from, this is a botanical that I printed on onion skin and I used the central shell for another collage. But I thought this might be cool to kind of put down here, maybe not all of it, but just rip some of it. But then I had the idea of using, um, one of my patrons brought me some um, National Geographic, like old ones from the 60s and stuff like that. That's so sweet of her. Like, thank you so much, Sharon, for doing that. And um, so I was flipping through them and I found this image of like a Buddha or something, all like that. So then I thought, how cool would it be maybe to fussy cut that out and put it down on the page? And it's, you know, it's an authentic piece that, um, that, um, you know, came out of an old National Geo and, uh, and it even has this old look to it. So I think that would fit our theme as well. So I was thinking about doing that as well. We'll see. Um, so let's get started. Let's get the glue in. And those are the basic ideas. How's everyone doing? As always, hope you had a good week and lots of fun in the studio creating. And um, of course, right now, as we're looking at this video, we're all hanging out, which is really cool. Those of you who show up Saturday mornings, 7 a.m. Pacific time <laughs> for our hangouts, I really appreciate it. You guys are all over the place, so you're getting up at all different times, and how cool is that? I really enjoy, you know, our time. On Saturday mornings. We talk about everything. Let's go ahead and put this down. Okay. okay. I like that. Let me just figure out, am I going to do this? Let me just kind of rip this first of all. I feel like I need to get, oh, get it ripped first. And let's get rid of this. This is from a, an old botanical as well. Maybe what I'll do is kind of put something at the top and rip it like this. Actually, I like that. You know, I think I might do is this Buddha right here is from what this is, this one I think was. The 68, whenever it was. But I think I might actually take and do a photocopy of this so it looks shiny, because I really like it was on the other side too. And I was just thinking if I cut it, which I don't mind cutting it, but then I'll lose this, and this is like super cool here. And then these old kind of stupas are really neat. So I think what I'm gonna do is photocopy it, because I am gonna use it. I think I'm gonna use it differently. Because those National Geos are not easy to come by. But you know what I could do here? We could, um, let's just do this. And actually, I like these in a couple of sections there. And then we're going to figure out what else we're going to do. But this is a good place to begin, I think. And I don't know, maybe I might not do that one. I think that might be too planny. But I do like that. So let's go ahead and put this down. I don't like that. Feel another sneeze coming on. Let's get this down. And I'm also going to spend time going back into my 
my old printables because I know so many of you have gotten those from last year in our different journeys and so I need to use a lot of mine up and I figured you know I would you know encourage you to use yours as well so just thinking about ways that they work in with our cabinet of curiosities and so I really like that that actually looks pretty cool there <clears throat> some fabrics here as well. That's kind of nice there. So I may use that. Okay, so while I'm thinking, because like I told you, I'm like not sure, because I also have things here from our other printables, but I don't think I'm going to use these because I have this one and I know I like that there. So it kind of gives this sort of printables vibe, right? So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get this down and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my collage papers and I'm going to find some other stuff. But this butterfly from, this is some Tim Holtz papers from years ago that I stained. I used turmeric and coffee on it. So it was in my little stash of papers. I think I'm going to definitely put this down. On the back of that card. I'm going to do that card as a flip. So that's going to be a flip for us. Okay. That looks cool there. So let's find some other papers. Let me get rid of. I actually, I pulled all kind of stuff. I pulled out um, these. Um, marble papers as well. Oh, this is a little piece. That strip could go nicely there. Let's put, I was thinking about the little strip of it to put down. So this is from December. 20, December 2020 pack of printables or November, maybe November, but they're all um, vintage um, marble papers. And that kind of gives an old cabinet of curiosity vibe. I do like the idea of this strip there too. Looking pretty good. So. Okay. It's a little idea of this. Like if this is a field notes book or something like this, it becomes a place to you know, um, tuck writings and things like that. Let me go back over here and see. I feel like I want, you know what I want? I want this only smaller. So. I want this ink lot. I want to use that. I feel like I'm moving stuff everywhere and not remember where I'm putting stuff. Okay, here we are. So we're going to get rid of this and, um, and then I have my stash over here. You can see at the ready. Let's get this one off because I want sort of an ink blot here. So I really, you know, the, the idea for me of this cabinet of curiosities is it's a combination of, you know, vintage ephemera and found objects along with my own artwork and mark making and things. It really kind of give it that feeling of art, 
but yet still like a very interesting, you know, kind of journey. So let's see. I want to put something else in this area here. So let's go ahead and rip this. Excuse me, that's my chair. Oh yeah, that's what I was, that's what I had in my mind. Let's get some torn edges here. Okay, that'll be good there. I was just seeing that ink blot as I was flipping this. I was like, okay, I need an ink blot in there somewhere. Okay. And let's see what else do I have in here. Something over there because we still have still have that side. Let's go ahead and put this down. I know I want that. I know I want that. So also when you see the printables, always think about them as in smaller sections, you know, like just using bits and pieces of them, like how we've used it with the, the botanicals from last month. You know, just grab bits and pieces of them. You don't have to use the whole thing. That's gonna go there. Okay, so we need to, I wanna flush this out. This needs to be a little more collage-y. And you know what else? I have some paper over here that, um, book paper that I've stained. Let me see what I can use. I really want to, this could be cool, this piece right here. This is from an old manners et et etiquette book. What I like about this piece right here is I like that. Let me see if I can grab that. And I like the Roman numeral too, that's, that's also nice. I didn't want the words, so okay, yeah, I like that. That's cool. We like that. So let's get that down. Let's get that down. So these are old book pages that I've stained. And uh, outside with coffee and tea and all of that. And then I came back and did some more staining with ink and what have you. And you get these really, now I'm going to flip this over. You get these really cool textured um pages I think I'm gonna put this down if you guys hear background noise I'm actually in some new studio space as I'm getting ready for the ranch I got space outside of my house because so much of it now I'm ready to start you know moving it around and get on the land and I'm in a really cool studio space so lots of my friends are here but um, sometimes, even though I'm in my own studio, the noise can travel, so it shouldn't be too much. But you might hear occasional sound in the background of the heaviest people working in their studios and maybe talking and walking down the hall or something. But I really love the space. It's perfect for my needs and Um, you know, it's kind of nice to be out. Especially now that we can kind of get out of our studios. I was like, I really wanted to have that opportunity. So that's some paper. This is, um, this is mulberry paper. And this I bought online. Uh, actually, Patty gifted me this. Patty Tolly Paris. She sends me happy mail from time to time. And this was in there. It was a nice piece of it. And so I've been pinching off of it. It's got the nice gold on the mulberry paper, but I really like you know, that little added detail. So I thought when I saw that piece of paper, it hit my eye as a nice thing to put up there because you know I'm going to be working around all that. You already know that. I'm not going to. But I still want this to have a very, um, I don't know, 
I'm kind of into it having a very, you know, art vibe at the same time. Still have um, bits of our cabinet of curiosities and what have you. So let me look in my thing here because I need to, this is some paper that we um, did the mommy gummy on. Let me see. I also, also thought we would do some mask making sessions for some of our videos because it's kind of cool to make a lot of things and then be able to use them. So if that's something that you guys would like for me to do, I'll plan one soon because I do a lot of mask making. So I have stuff ready to go. Like it made me think of it is I'm digging in here and a lot of times I'll do kind of collage pieces. Oh, these are, look at this, I just found a whole bunch of stuff here. I'll do collage pieces um, and then I keep them so that they're ready for me to use at any given moment, like when you want to, um, now I can't find it. I had, I saw it just a minute ago. Hmm. I don't see it right now. Look at that. Now here's the Buddha. I guess the Buddha, I mean, you know what? I'll put this on here. Buddha wants to be on this page. And this is a good one because this is from a napkin that another one of my patrons had sent me some of these napkins and they're already thinned out now. So I literally could put that right there. Oh, that's perfect. I really like that. This is kind of like a really interesting combination, isn't it? I don't know if I want this here now. I might save this for another page. Because with this Buddha here, let's just, I'm gonna put this down because this Buddha wants to be on this page. So since I didn't use it from the National Geo, <laughs> so I go through my stash, I find another one, but I'm gonna rip around this and so I can just put the... So don't be afraid to change directions. As you see, I've just done. I think I'm going to actually change directions completely. And that's because I basically start out without any preconceived notion of what I want to do. And uh, so let me get rid of some of this on this side. So, you know, if things change, they change. They just keep on, keep on creating. I try not to, when I'm collaging, I do something what I call intuitive collage. I just try to put my hands on stuff. I don't really try to like have in my mind already figured out, well, I'm going to do this and I want it to look like this and so. I really honestly just, uh, oh, this is the wrong one. The Giotto is a little bit aggressive, as we know, on thin papers. Okay, there we go. See, it doesn't stick as much. Um... And because I try not to have a preconceived notion, it leaves you free to go in a lot of different directions. And you let your, that inner part of yourself speak and, uh, and guide you. Since we're doing this in our journals and this is all about the journey and experimenting and discovering things. You know, there really isn't any right or any wrong. It's not like we're creating art that we're going to sell somewhere or even if you worry about anybody seeing it. So that way you can discover your art mythos. You can discover your, what your visual vocabulary is, you know, and um, it's a great way to learn and discover things about yourself. Oh, I really like that. Some on the edge here. Okay, so you can see how that flushes out really nicely. It integrates so pretty with this background. It's like the same colors there. 
So, okay, so since we changed directions, that really goes in nicely. This page is looking good. I have some of these pieces over here. Kind of cool to put this down and we can still see that pattern through it. Or get some of this down, I can still see the pattern. Let me look though, it seems like I want something else. Oh, we have some of this. That's kind of cool too. Oh yeah, I like that. Maybe just this piece around in there, let me just see. Now you know when I put this down, it's going to be see-through, so what's nice is that I'll still see some of that underneath there, but let me get this. It's just kind of in this collage -y, you know, arty kind of mood for my, for my uh, journal. But also I could see coming back on this page and, and gluing some kind of found object or maybe even like, yeah, something that I find, you know, while walking or doing a, um, what do you call it a, you know, a hike or something like that. And then the idea that um, it still allows us places to put other things. Okay, I'm back. My battery got stopped. So I do like that. Before I put this down, I have to decide if I want it over or under something. You know what I do have here? I'll hold that because I may want that. I do have a piece of this paper, and this may be cool to do as a, oh, I like that as a flip. Because now we can see, I'll show you, we can see through it. And it looks like it could be a piece of ephemera, like I could actually, put a, um, a found object, a feather, a leaf, or something on there. How cool would that be? And just do this as a flip for right now. Let's go ahead and glue this down. I think I have, I know what I may have. Ideas are flowing. Let's put this down. I like that. If I did this as a flip, let me just see. I'm going to dig over here for a second. I had some, I came across some leaves. Oh, yeah, right here. Something I had. And how cool would it be? Let's just see if I want to put. Oh, yeah, that's neat. Now I like this. So I could put this down. And then. I feel like I want to sandwich it in with something. Let me see what I have here. I want something that I'm going to be able to see it. Maybe not that. Maybe I might come and put this back on. You know what? Because I think I'd like to coat it with some um, PVA. I don't know that I have PVA right here. Because like I said, I'm moving studios around, so I don't have everything down here yet. We might save that idea and do that. I could still do it there, but I'll show you how we do it differently. We'll actually do some leaves and stuff like that so that you can see how I would use it. But I'm still going to put this here because I like that. 
and I feel like but but actually I can't do it as a flip because I have this here. I didn't even think about that. See this piece of fabric. So this is going to have to wait. I'll put it over here with this once I remember it. I'm going to just have to do something different here because I cannot do a flip. So I guess all along, like see my, how my, you know, my right brain, my muse knew that I couldn't put this here because I had never considered the fact that this is sticking out. And I, I don't want to glue that down. Isn't that funny? Like little things like that, directions will change. And you might not even understand why the direction has changed. And then you'll discover. <laughs> like I just did. Okay, but we got to do something here. We need to do something exciting. Sorry if I'm sniffling. My allergies are doing their thing. Okay, we can put some of this at the bottom of the page. I like that. And then I have a little something hanging off and the colors work. And this is kind of an unexpected color and it definitely works because we have those oranges over there from the Buddha. And then let me just take a piece of this. I'm gonna use this because I want to flush this, um, this, oh, that's good. I want to flush this out. So I'm going to pull some of that off to get a ragged edge. I really want to flush this, this whole collage out. So now I'm going to get the Giotto, this, this paper is a lot thicker. Let's get some of this down. Okay. Okay, that's good. See, and it's going to go translucent anyway, so you're not going to miss any of the information underneath there, but it's kind of cool. We definitely want to put this down. I'm going to try to decide if there's something else I want to put. Oh, you know what I just saw when I looked in here? I did see like a, a piece of a tea bag that I had also stained. Let's see. Not done until we're done. I really like the way this is shaping up though. That's what I'm gonna do. So this, I'll put this down and then that piece of fabric's gonna go on top. And I feel like we've really flushed this design out nicely. And at the same time, I can still, I'm able to see some of this through there, but you know, without it being so literal, like leaving a lot of space blank, we're able to flush this collage out and yet still, you know, have it interesting. I decide if I want to do it there. I don't. I think I'll do it here because it's almost like this is repeating that. I kind of like that. And see, so you can still see all of this good stuff through it. Let's see, so you can still see that through there and this. Okay. So now let's go ahead and put this down. So here again, I'm going to use the Giotto. It just works nice with fabric. I really want to get a good thing. 
come over here to the side. I don't know if you guys can see me. Got it, yeah. Okay, let's just get this down. Kind of move this fabric so that it's kind of. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this down here. I only did it on half of it because the other part, you know, I want to hang it off with the edge of the bulk so we get all that good um, texture. Gotta have that texture. So, get some of this here. Okay. I really like this, how this is flushed out. So it's hanging off the edge here. It's okay, cause you know, it curls up and does all that kind of stuff, which is okay by me. Okay. So, you can see a close up. So we got this sort of, you know, you can see it hanging off the edge there, which is good. And love the tea bag. See, I really like the way this collage has come together. Love it. Okay, so I feel like I want to do something else. I don't know. Let me just double check to make sure there isn't anything else that I want to do it, you know, at this point. We can do, you always can come back, you know, our our um 80% rule. I am really into a lot of texture today. Ah, I'm putting that down. I am definitely putting this down. So let's just get it. Oh, I don't know if I'm putting it down because it's kind of unraveling as we go. Let me just see. It on the paper first because this stuff is unraveling because the way I cut it but that's what I like about it I like the fact that it's unraveling so make sure you get all your little bits of fabric and stuff also okay and this right here I'm just gonna put a little bit more glue in this area and then just kind of stick this down just kind of clump it so there we go. I kind of want this, you know, old world found vibe. I really like how this color here is coming opposite of this, like the black and the cream and the cream there. This is picking that up. And see all these things, all these elements come together just kind of very naturally. We're not like thinking about it and studying it and trying to figure out what we're going to put down. So I'm really, I think we're done. That page is a real surprise, isn't it? And it's amazing how everything just works together. It's like telling a story as we move along. Oh, I love it. I am excited about this book. It's funny how some of you who saw this was a cowboy. And once you said it, I could see it as a cowboy. And someone else said they saw it as a clown. I could see that too. And then it's my little beetle. It's my Cowboy clown beetle. <laughs> I like that. So just flipping through, it's like so funny how this whole book is developing. And this is what we want. When you flip through it, you just want to see a lot of ideas and interests and just this sort of global, this feel of global, but traveled, but you know, just not studied and not too serious. And just everything just works together. And it really works with this cover. The cover is really bearing out the, um, the inside of the book. It's funny. All right, I think that's everything. So as always, it's been a lot of fun. And um, don't forget to hit the bell to um, subscribe if you're new to my channel. And definitely hit that little like button so it pushes 
this video out into YouTube land and it helps us meet our goals of growth and expanded community. And um, as always, it's nice hanging out with you all. And until next Saturday, happy creating. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.